What role will AI play in the RAN? Yeah, there are a lot of role of AI for the radio. The first is like using AI to improve the radio performance, right? I mean, we can bring put the AI in the base station implementation, like a CUDU. So it's like, you know, we can extend the performance, enhance the performance of the radio. So some of the demonstration shows, like, shows us like a 10, 20% like a better throughput, which is a great, for the you know better spectrum efficiency, so which is a all is very important for the operators. So this is a one thing like we are very uh, happy to see the you know the better you know use of the AI in the radio. The second thing is actually like as a use case, you know we are speaking about the mobile edge almost ten years, but uh, nothing really happening because of the lack of the use case, lack of the business model. But this AI inference is a one because they need a massive computational resources which we can deploy in the mobile edge, and they also need a net better uh, network like for the low latency, high bandwidth. They need these like a premium network. So that's like what we are very excited about, like AI. How will you deploy AI in the in the field? Yeah, I mean, so basically, like uh, you know. AI is just starting, right? I mean, two years, mm -hmm. like, there are a lot of innovation. So well, what we are trying to do is, like, deploying the, you know, radio and AI in the same hardware. So, so it's like, same, like, uh, a mobile edge. So it's like, we can re use uh, resources for both, like, uh, edge uh, radio and AI. So this is, uh, like, a, something like what we are heavily working in AI run. And uh, uh, so this is, uh, you know, it's, it's it, deployment wide. This is a mobile edge deployment, you know, mm -hmm. mobile edge for both radio and AI. So that's like what we are trying to right now. And how long will it take to get to a fully autonomous network? Yeah, I mean, like, I want to say tomorrow, right? <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is uh, something like, uh, you know, uh, we are also looking at because uh, there are a lot of like uh, redundant operation we have in our mobile network operations where we can use uh, AI to optimize or remove the, some of the unnecessary work. So this is, I think that it's gradually, you know, AI coming in our operations to improve the uh, system. But uh, ultimately, like, you know, end-to-end, -end fully automated network, and also AI can create uh, some dynamic modification to the, our network operation. Some like mobile network is very static way, but once like a base station to deploy, you know, we don't touch. But, uh, you know, depending on the people's like move and, uh, you know, behavior, we can dynamically change the radio configuration. So this fully automation is fully really necessary. So hope like, uh, you know, it's coming like uh, soon in our network. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.